Hi Thrifty Friends, it's Laura. I am just going to do a roaringly quick video because my grandkids have gone down for a nap and that usually gives me 20-25 minutes. So I'm going to do a little catch up. I told you in the last video I had some stuff at my back door that I hadn't gotten around to filming last fall and um, so I've got a few new things to show you. I just wanted to show you my little display back here. This uh, was inspired by a gal, um, oh, I can't think of her name, but her channel is Moss Stone Story. And uh, she had a display of all, you know, cups and saucers and stuff like that. So I kind of copied it just for the fun of it. Anyway, um, let's start with, here I go again, another garbage pail. And um, it's just, it's got the same pictures on two sides. So two different pictures and then twice over. It's wooden, nice little garbage pail, needs a little bit of a cleaning up, but I think this one is gonna go into my booth because I have, I've been hauling garbage pails like crazy lately. I don't know what that says about me. <laughs> so, and then these are under the heading of, what on earth was I thinking? <laughs> I don't know. I don't like this tiki kind of stuff at all. But they're they kind of intrigued me. I didn't know what they would be. It's an older plastic and it's a drink cup. And then I guess your straw goes through there. So maybe I thought it was something that the kids could use in the summertime. But um if you remember my last haul, I got a um uh Kahlua Kahlua uh, bottle, a vintage Kahlua bottle with the tiki stuff on it. So I'm going to put these with it and put them in the booth. When my booth opens again, we're not getting any um, any idea of when that's going to happen just yet. We're still pretty shut down. So I love atlases. This is a sweet little atlas. I think I paid about a dollar for it. Uh, it's got loads of great color, color pictures in it. Um, I was thinking I might cut it up for a junk journal. We'll see if I will or I won't. But that's where I was born, right there, Perth, Australia. So nice little atlas and somebody's written on the front of it 1948. So I think it came, it actually came out of a school. Yeah, uh, it's got the girl's name, Elizabeth Lockhart Form 4. So that's kind of neat. That'll just go into my neat books. And then everyone needs this for their toast, you know, for when their butler brings a toast in in the morning, <laughs> a toast rack. It's nothing special. It's not, uh, it's not um, silver or anything. I just thought it was neat looking and it might be fun to display things on it in my booth and just put a price on it in my booth. So there's that and a little piece of nice vintage enamel wear. It isn't new, it is an older piece that has legitimate scuff marks on it. So I think, I like the hole, eh? so you can hang it, you would hang it on the wall and then pull it down when you need to use it. Uh, I remember my grandma having a bigger one and pulling it down to do her dishes in. So I don't know, I might keep that one. And uh, I have a few pieces that I collect, so I might keep this one. So what else have I got? Okay. These I paid up for. I do remember that. These are the Pyrex Sea and Store canisters. Um, and this is the Spice of Life pattern here, which is kind of the pattern that I like. I mostly collect the blue, the cornflower blue one, but um, I really like the Spice of Life. My mom always had the Spice of Life. So I paid up for these. I paid 15 for the big one and 10 for the small one. So I still need, I think there should be two more sizes for the set. Uh, but, um, you know, at that price, you don't buy them every day. So these I'm going to keep. I'm going to use them in my craft area to store uh, inks. And um, I'm going to keep my eyes peeled. I'd love to get some for up in the kitchen because I do like that you can see through them and see what you've got. I suppose looking at your flower isn't all that ex exciting, but anyway. All right, what else here? Oh, these are cool. All right, I'm gonna <laughs> make a fool of myself here. Look at these, okay, glasses, and they have this dial on them. 
So a couple of times in my life, I have had a horse knock my glasses off and then I had to go for a few days until I got a new pair of glasses. Because when you live in the country, it's not like being in the city where you can go and get a pair of glasses in an hour. <laughs> this was my reasoning behind buying these really stunning and uh, gorgeous looking things. <laughs> you put them on and you use the dial and you can actually dial in so you can see. They're almost like, um, like having binoculars on your face. I wouldn't want to wear them for any length of time. They're heavy as all get out. I hope you're all killing yourselves laughing. <laughs> That's just gorgeous, isn't it? <laughs> Anyways, I grabbed these. I paid $3.50. And I just looked them up. And they are worth a bit of money. They are for people who have very low vision to be able to sit and watch TV. And you just dial in so that the TV is clear enough for you. So, um, I don't know if I'll sell them or not. I think there's something that would have to sell on eBay. Or, um, not likely in my booth, but uh, you never know. Or maybe I'll just keep them for an emergency. <laughs> so, those are neat. They're called uh, C-O-I-L, Coil. They're made in Great Britain. So, there was a pair on Etsy or on eBay for 100 and change. But then there was some on there for like for $40. So I don't know what the, what the scoop is about them, but they might come in handy one day. You know, I'm that kind of person. So I, I'm a scrapbooker. You guys have all heard me say that. And I actually did sell creative memories years ago. And these, I have one of these tote bags and I just love it. And I don't go to crops as often as I used to, but it's nice if you're going to go to a crop or just go to a friend's house and do some crafting to have a nice sturdy tote like this. So I grabbed this one and I'll just keep that for myself for when I want to go somewhere. How's my time? Okay. Uh, the farm book. Uh, this was $2, I think. And I just saw this fabulous, it's all sketches and artwork. It's not really stories or anything. But it all has to do, I'm going to push you out a little bit because everybody, you're a bit close. There we go. Oh, did I show this? This is uh, inspired by uh, Moth Stone Story. I can't remember if I said that. Um, I, she has a nice channel. She shows a lot of cool vintage stuff. So anyways, just showing you some of the pages in this, in this book. These beautiful, beautiful uh, drawings and paintings and again I said to myself oh I'll I'll cut that up for um oh I'll cut that up for junk journals and I don't know if I will or not we'll see one of these days oh, so, oh I don't want to see a calf being born right but it's just it's just full of all this lovely artwork so I uh well, that's neat. There's a whole layout of the barn kind of thing. So that's just for me. I'm going to enjoy that. I haven't really had a chance to sit and really go through it. So I'll have to do that one of these days. This is the drawer out of an old sewing machine. And um, a guy, uh, a guy, who, one of the guys who has another booth where my booth is, he gave it to me, which was very nice of him. I said, oh, I'm looking for... And he said, oh, I have one in the car. <laughs> so that was really nice of him. It's in beautiful shape. It's gorgeous wood. It's very old. And it says uh, New Williams. So I don't know what kind of sewing machine that was. But that that's to me what that looks like is the drawer out of a sewing machine. One of those old, you know, with the foot pedals, the old sewing machines. So um, that is going to be used in a, a craft of some, some sort somewhere along the line. And Heritage, it's just a white sheet, uh, but it is quite vintage. It's made in Romania, and because it's in the package, new in package, it would be a good seller in my booth. In the, in the Perth area, uh, there is um, there's a little uh, movie-making industry. Uh, Hallmark comes and uh, uses some 
locations in our area and I have seen uh, buyers, I guess they're set decorators, looking for items in our flea market and another flea market in Perth. So things that are new in package are uh, possibly something that might sell that in that direction. So this, I had, I'd actually got five or six of these and uh, it was a friend clearing out and some are black and some are this color. So it's just for your napkins in the summertime, pop your napkins in. So I've, I'm going to keep most of them um, because that's a really nice hostess gift. If you're invited somewhere, you can buy some pretty napkins and take that as a hostess gift. So I'm just going to stash that away in my gifts. Tote. I have a tote in the cupboard. Um, what else have I got here? Oh, another blanket new in the package. Uh, it's an Esmond blanket. It's acrylic, but it does have the Hudson's Bay colors on it. So we got the red, the yellow, and the green. So it looks like a Hudson's Bay blanket, but it is not a Hudson's Bay blanket. Too bad because, boy, are they worth money. Um, I did get one once. I got a blue one, and I sold it for way too cheap. Uh, but anyways, live and learn. That was in the early days. So this again will go into my booth and maybe something that someone who's doing set decoration might be interested in that or just a collector. And a cute little basket because, hey, I love cute little baskets. And I won't paint this one. It's in good shape. I really quite like it. So I'll just keep that one for myself and I've just got to watch my time. I love these little notebooks. Whenever I see them, I pick them up, especially if they are written in and this one is 1955 this woman kept track of her um, hospital stay in 1955 she went in for a total hysterectomy she's got every detail in here what she ate what she drank um, she's got all her visitors who came in who oh what she ate yeah what she ate there's her breakfast her visitors uh, what her visitors brought her um when they the dates that they came and everything and then the, oh i don't suppose I'll, i've lost that page now she actually has a page in here of the account the cost of oh here it is okay the cost of her stay was 132 dollars and 20 cents and she was in the hospital for 12 days you can see it she's got it written up there 12 days so, wow, wow, hey, but that's 65 years ago. Um, the other thing is she's got some minutes of meetings here, and it looks like she was sort of membership and outreach because she, it's uh, notations about visiting sick uh, members of whatever this was. And interestingly, they call each other comrade. So... I am not sure about that. I have to do a bit of research because when she says she took flowers, flowers sent to Comrade um, Donahue and Comrade Johnson. So that's quite interesting. But she was sending flowers, congratulations. She was visiting people with new babies and taking them things. So these are, um, these are her notes on that. So really fascinating little peek into other people's lives eh? and, and 65 years ago which is one more year than me um i'll be doing a bit more research on that and see if i can find out any more about it so that is my little haul that was hanging out at my back door all winter and i hope you guys are all doing well i'm almost at 15 minutes gotta go love ya take care bye